In this morning's Business Insight, we're talking cheap beer. A study by the investment website TheStreet.com ranked the beer for sale at Paul Brown Stadium in a tie for the sixth cheapest beer in the NFL. It listed the Bengals and seven other teams as offering a 12-ounce beer for $5. Now, if you do the math, that comes to 42 cents an ounce. Business Courier reporter Steve Watkins, though, dug a little deeper into this story and found that they were looking at last year's prices. This year, the Bengals are selling 14-ounce draft beers for five bucks so that's just 36 cents an ounce and that would give the Bengals the third cheapest beer prices in the NFL barely behind the Miami Dolphins and New Orleans Saints now each of those teams sells beer for 35 cents an ounce and speaking of affordable beer Wiedemann's special lager has found new life and is one of the lowest priced local craft beers on the market former business courier reporter John Newberry relaunched the George Wiedemann Brewing Company last year about 30 years after the original facility in Newport was shut down and demolished Newberry and his wife Betsy have partnered with the Listerman Brewing Company to create a new recipe for the brand Wiedemann special lager he joins Business Watch producer Kelly Leon in the studio with more on his new business for an old Cincinnati name. Thanks, Peg. John, welcome back. Hey, thanks. It's you, good to be back. You used to be here talking about important business things going on, and now we're talking about beer. Well, this is this is very important. <laughs> this is very to important. To a lot of people. So. <laughs> why, why, why did you do this? You and your wife, Betsy, revived the Wiedemann name. A lot of people in Cincinnati know this name, know this beer. How'd this happen? Sure. Well, it, it happened because I used to cover beer, and I found <laughs> out through my reporting uh, on the beer industry locally that uh, the Wiedemann brand had been abandoned, essentially. They dropped the trademark on it, and I talked to a trademark lawyer and asked him what, how hard would it be to, to get that and bring it back. And, it was an opportunity I couldn't couldn't pass up. Yeah, and so. we've got a shot of it here now. It's a bohemian style pilsner, is what 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 it is here. Um, we are seeing a lot of craft beers coming back to life. Greg Hardman with Huda Pole. Sure. Um, sure. Is this something that's happening just here in Cincinnati, or is this something that's happening all over the country? No, it, it's really happening all over the country. There's a lot of old uh, legacy beers with you know a lot of heritage behind them that people are bringing back people beer has always been uh, something that people really attach themselves to you know everybody has their favorite beer and remembers you know what their dad drank yes, and what their yep. grandfather drank yep. and things like that so so yep. there's a lot of emotional attachment to beers and uh, I think that's why you know yeah. so and, but, and certainly you're right with Wiedemann I mean I remember this as, as a kid and it was uh, it was cheap beer you don't want me to call it cheap beer, though, right? Well, it wasn't cheap. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it has got a reputation in more recent years as a cheap beer, but Wiedemann was always known as a very affordable beer, a good value. You know, back in its heyday in the 60s and 70s, I mean, it was, it was just a great beer. It was a, a well-marketed, high-quality beer, and that's kind of what we're trying to restore. So how are you marketing it now? How can people get a Wiedemann beer? Where can we buy it? Uh, well, in, uh, in a few weeks, you'll be, be able to buy it at almost any Kroger store oh. in the Cincinnati, Dayton, northern Kentucky area. We're, we're finally getting into Kroger. Uh, and uh, so you can get it there. You can get it at Party Source. You can get it at lots of places, Jungle Gyms. Uh, all the big beer stores and fine uh, restaurants and bars all over town. And what does it go for for a six pack? How much? It goes for seven fifty, six seven dollars, in that range. Uh, that's pretty cheap. Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, com compare it's it's a low, little lower price than most uh, or than a lot of the craft beers, and that's kind of by design. We like to you know give people good value. Give them a craft quality beer at a you know at a good price. Yeah. I think that's always been kind of Wiedemann's selling point. All right. And, well, uh, we we wish you well with this. I want to give credit to our director Todd. He was excited about this story and wanted us to get it on the air. So if you think we're just a, a business show, just covering boring topics, we proved you wrong this morning, right? <laughs> <Are> you sure. <laughs>